All right. Now, what do you think we should do for 3.4? Say, so, say. So, mm. Yes, Julia. So, uh, did you solve that one or should I continue? Continue, 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 Junior. So, uh, when we see uh, TN, we are going to sub negative 121. So, and we. Take no, 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 3.4. 3.3, we're done. We are on 3.4 now. Oh, I. Say. Oh, so, say, can you see? Can I see the answer of 3.3? Okay. 3.3. Where's that thing? That's the answer. Between the 73 and 74. Are you happy, oh, Junior? Yes. Yes. You got the same? Yes, I got the same. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's talk about 3.4. Anyone can answer. Two. What do you think we should do? Okay, guys, do we know what to do? Should we do it? Dumete, Junior, anyone can answer. There's only two of us. Just the two of us. Um, Senna, I don't know what I should do. Thank you for the honesty. Junior. I said is this one is confusing me okay let's go back guys copella just check this now and uh, tell me if you understand let me just erase everything and start from scratch let's go back here you remember this is the equation of a of a what do you call this thing of a parabola get yeah? Yes. Okay. Can you see that it is similar to the equation Tn equals to a n squared? Okay, can you please repeat? Do you see that this is, the, you... this is the equation of a parabola? Can you see that? Junior, can you see? Junior. All right. Junior can hear me. So let me continue. But uh, can you see that it is similar to Tn equals to An squared plus Bn plus C? Can you see that? Yes. All right. Now let us remember what we learned about a parabola. Okay. We are having a case where A is greater than zero. And you're having a case where a is less than zero. If a is greater than zero, we are having a smiling face. If a is great is is uh it's uh less than zero, we're having a frowning face. So this here we always expect to have the max value. And here we always expect to have the minimum value. But let me ask you a question. Let's go back here. If, let's say, for some strange reason, I was nasty, and I asked you to sketch this function for me, do you think that you would have a smiling face or you would have a frowning face? I'll have a frowning face. A frowning face. Okay. So meaning, would you have a maximum value or a minimum value? I would have a maximum value. All right. Let's come back. You would have a maximum value. Okay. We are on the right track. 
Now we come back. Now I then ask you a very important question. How looking don't don't think about the, the, the quadratic sequence for now. Look at the parabola. How would you calculate the maximum value of the parabola? What would be the I first step? Turning point. Turning point. So you would find the axis of symmetry here, where minus yes. b all over 2a, and whatever point that you get, you would substitute what? You would substitute that, uh, you would substitute that to get the y turning point. Alternatively, because you know calculus, uh, you could say, um, instead of me doing it that way, you could say that you are going to differentiate and set that thing to be equals to zero, and then you'd find the axis of symmetry and you still substitute into the original equation. That's true, right? Because you know yes. calculus, I guess. So that is true, because now you are in grade 12. Now, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go back to um our statement here all right the question says to us what value okay what value must be added to each term in the pattern so that the value of the maximum term in the new pattern will be one all right so one thing, the, the first thing, the, con, the, the question is confusing. But the first thing you want to do, first, I know you got it wrong. First thing that you want to do, I want you to calculate the axis of symmetry. Can we do that quickly? Oh, you got it right, then it's fine. So which, uh, are we still in 3.4? We are still in 3.4. So we have to calculate the axis of symmetry. Yes. Are you done? No, say I'm lost. You are lost. Yes. Did you get that I connected a parabola with uh, what you call this thing? With uh, the equation of, uh, uh, again, the general formula of a quadratic sequence. Did you get how I did that? Did you? Yes, I understand. All right. So let us take the question. Ritu now are you okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you calculate it? Did you? Uh, uh, and I'm still calculating. Okay. Okay. Can you go? Can I? Can I? All right. Are you able to calculate, guys? The, just the axis of symmetry, are you able to do that? Should I give you more questions like this?
or should I do it with you? Redo me, it's me and you again. Should I, should I do it with you? Yes. Okay, all right. Now guys, um, I think maybe I will give you maybe another type of question like this. It seems like uh, it uh, it uh, trapped you a bit, some of you. Um, but let's check. What I want to do, this is the same, guys, as you having y equals to uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. Um, honestly, you can use axis of symmetry from Greek level. You can now uh, calculate the stationary point using calculus methods. Uh, but let me just use old school. I'm going to say n is equals to minus b all over 2a. So this here, guys, this is my a, that is my b, and that is my c. Okay. Being very careful about the matter. All right. So wherever I see, wherever I see b, I'm going to put 26. Wherever I see a, I'm going to put negative 1. What is your answer there? Thirteen. Thirteen. Now, guys, I'm going back. Remember, when we calculate the maximum value and the minimum value, the maximum value is found at the y turning point. The minimum value is found at the y turning point. All right, but in order for you to find the y turning point, you first have to find the axis of, axis of symmetry, which is why we are doing it this way. Okay, now this value that I got, now I can find my maximum value. And indeed, because of the value of my A, I expect to have a maximum value, not a minimum value. So wherever I see, I see 20. Wherever I see N, I'm going to put 30. Wherever I see n, I'm going to put 13. Wherever I see n, I'm going to put 13. What is the answer, guys? Uh, the answer is negative 1. Negative 1. Have you answered the question? Let's go back to the question. The question says, what must be added to each term in order are in the number pattern so that the value of the maximum term, what is the maximum term that we got, guys? The maximum term that we got is negative one. But now they are saying to you, what value, what value must be added so that, so that um, the value of the maximum term of the number pattern will be one. So what must we add? What must we add to negative one? In, so that the value becomes one. Uh, two. Two. Therefore, you could yeah, yeah, two. add two. Hence, I hope you get what I said when I introduced the thing of sequences. That you cannot separate sequences from graphs, guys. All right? Um... I don't know. Um, I, I will give you a pack. You'll see more questions like this. I don't know if um, we will find time to go over these questions because also remember, I'm trying to revise with you so that we at least, at least get to functions and hopefully get to calculus. But I'm going to give you a pack that you can use to revise. Um, do you need more questions like this? Yes. Okay. I'll try to find more questions, but I'll give you packs. Um, and hopefully next week, next week I'll do uh sequences part two. This was sequences part one. I was not able to finish uh sequences today. So I'll do sequences part two. Um I hope you enjoyed the rest of your night. I will send you the videos. Thank you so much for joining and uh see you on Sunday when you are attending geography. Thank you so much. Good night. Night, night.
Bye. Oh, you don't want to sleep. You want more meds. Bye, say. <laughs> bye, bye.